Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The Admin. A villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you hide who you really are? Not every one can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero. Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Have everyone? Everybody safe? Yeah, everyone except Nurm. Duh, can't believe you left him behind for some useless llama. She's not some useless llama. Looks pretty useless to me. Stop it! You're hurting her feelings! She can't understand a word I'm saying! Nurm wanted to stay, Jack. You have to respect that. Well, you should have stopped him! There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned. Before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. The view from up here. It used to be beautiful. So you say. It must be hard to see your world like this. How long have you been gone exactly? No idea. It's hard to keep track of the time in maximum security. Long enough for the world to change. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him and... It was... Slow. Oh boy. He needs to be stopped. That's why we're here. He hurt you and he'll hurt more people. I wonder if he had a heart at all. Or... He was just a monster pretending to play along. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that...? That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. if I could go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So that thing is another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Just 
one day without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So that thing is another admin-created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Not in the eyes, Radar. Don't look at its eyes! Sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big and glowy. Go, go! Going! Lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. What? D do you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. Not asking for me, cause cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State of the art machinery, automated farming. The oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. It's home. What? What happened to it? Are you okay? I'm so sorry. I can only imagine if I saw Beacon Town like this. Save your pity. Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? 
Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, get out of here, you fucking carpet. <laughs> Yourself! You, uh, you okay there, Jack? No, this dumb stack of wool won't leave me alone. <laughs> Disgusting spit everywhere, not good for anything. No useful skills, can't make maps. No sense of humor, terrible conversationalist. I don't think the problem is with Luna, Jack. What? Don't you think this might be because you miss Nerm? I... Yeah, you're probably right. Sorry, Luna. We will get Nerm back, Jack. I don't know how yet, but we're not gonna forget him. Yeah, I, uh... I appreciate that, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said. Zara? Look at this. My bed. Come on. She's freaking out about a bed? Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? Wow. Maybe we should help her. Be my guest. I'm staying as far away from her throwing arm as possible. Ditto. I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. You made sure. He won't get away with this. We'll get back at the admin for what he did. Uh, avenge your, your... your bed. You really believe that, don't you? Zara? What are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? The portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. You want to destroy Romeo, don't you? Make him pay for what he did to you, your town? Then you have to get up. Not much use stuck down here. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. Come on, Zara, if you built it once, you can build it again. You were the best inventor in the... underneath. Probably the only inventor now. Even... better? I don't get it. Why don't you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. Why? Because the admin can't win, Zara. I won't let him. Not after everything he's done. If Fred's weapon can take him down, I'm gonna find it. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he... Hit it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. Oh! <laughs> 
Follow the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh, great. Just what this place needed. Run on ahead! Zaris and to follow the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh, great. Just what this place needed. Run on ahead! Never say no to a little gunpowder. Red Keep, here we come! Uh, Jesse? Oh, no. Who made eye contact with the Enderman? I'm sorry. No! It's okay. We're still okay, so long as it doesn't do that. Everybody jump! Jack! I'm okay! No! Oh, need to stop saying that! You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA Trouble! Definitely smells like admin. You don't know what an admin smells like. Sure do. Uh, kind of sulfury. Don't think that's a word. Magmatastic? I'm Jesse. Hi. And this is Jack. Really? You're seriously making introductions right now? Scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? We're here to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding. You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself. <laughs> 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 Maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die. <laughs> the first one. Pick the first one. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Ugh, my arms are tired. You should help us because it's the right thing to do. If you see someone in trouble, you have to do something. You think any of this down here is right? <laughs> right went out the window with the rest of the sky. What? Uh, maybe I do feel a little sorry for you, though. Here's the deal, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us. What with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. A warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat. 
Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords or splat? Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. Yeah, <laughs> splat. Ooh. Come on, come on. Just uh, gotta get some leverage. <laughs> Unlike the ankle here, I can do this all day. Or night, I suppose. Kinda the same thing, down here. No deal! Yeah, well that's... disappointing. <laughs> yeah, we'll go our own way. Don't go playing heroes, Squishies! Well, this dark will snuff out a light like you real fast! Jack! Jesse! Jack! Eh, tried to tell ya. Honk! Move out, ya stink bags! Don't go playing heroes, squishies! Well, this dark will snuff out a light like you real fast! Jack! Jesse! Jack! Eh, tried to tell ya. Oh, move out, ya stink bags! Jack! I'm so sorry this is all my fault if I hadn't... No, Jesse, this isn't on you. You said it was an accident. That means it could have happened to anyone. Wait, what about Luna? What about her? <laughs> She's a treasure-sniffing llama, right? Treasure-sniffing, not jack-sniffing. I don't think Luna would be much help here. Guess this is how they keep the mobs out. Strangers! Strangers! Binta! Ooh, what do we do here, Jesse? She's still running. Ow! Hey, where are you going? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone, everyone in the underneath. Binta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with the fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? 
They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? They're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Don't they have more important things to worry about? Oh man, I love trivia. You do? Yes, it's so fun! Flexing those brain muscles, taking your mind off the incredible misery in the world, crushing down on you every... I mean, uh... Oh, look at that! Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Benta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred. And locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. Okay, let's do some trivia then. <laughs> That's the spirit. I wasn't sure an outsider would understand. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. The door stays locked until someone wins. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. You are? Are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Gather round, everyone! Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent. And we have a challenger. Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. Comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude. Kent, be my best friend! You got this, Jesse. Don't let him intimidate you. May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin! you've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That... that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though... I must give you points for accuracy. Such... painstaking detail. 
I declare this round a draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this! His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct. Well done. Next question. Kent, Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess, his favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hoe, obviously. Very good. Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine feathery friend. <laughs> What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That is correct! Jesse, well done! I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? Uh, no one knows that. Uh, Fred didn't play favorites with resources. It's Birch. It's Birch! You... Uh... Yes. Yes! Birch was Fred's favorite. That's right! Jesse won! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. I love them, thank you. Jesse, I hope you find what you're looking for. Huh, kinda cozy. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? Secret room. There's got to be something down here. Three towns. There's the oasis there and the keep. Third is Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeoburg? I 
know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. That this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? And he wasn't talking about here. There wasn't a cabin on the map, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Uh... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge, and it was shared with me in great confidence before... Well... Before this place was considered underneath. I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in, Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. There aren't many people we don't recognize down here. Yeah, about that. Well... Did you at least find what you were looking for? This... weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one. But I must admit I'm curious. Not the weapon exactly, but some promising clues. Romeo, Zara, and Fred had a cabin that they called home. We need to find it. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town. Pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Vinta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... Romeo trapped us down here. He wants us to stay. I won't give him the satisfaction. You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please... Take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. So, I know I can trust you with this. Are you sure you want to give this up? I mean, if Fred gave it to you... I think he would have understood how much more you need it right now. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Where did... Hey, give that back! Ugh, thanks. Jesse? I... what? No! It, I'm... I am a 
a stone cold professional. My interest in Jesse was completely professional. Uh huh, uh huh, sure. Don't be so sensitive, Radar. Petra's just teasing you. I know, I know. Just a little too real. Sorry, Radar. I, I just tease because I love. Tease. So, uh, what's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on, let me check. Seems like we're still on. Tracks out, everybody brace yourselves. Ugh. Uh, uh, rough ride. No, not for you. Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah. What's up with the... One person I know fights like that. You are the real Jesse! Ivor? <clears throat> yes, it is I, your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse! What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master. Ivor, a practitioner of the Shadow insane. Arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very suspicious character. But eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his pupil. I was confused at first because... Nice. Huh, you see? Ninja reflexes. Wait, you tried to hit me. Why'd you try to hit me? That would have been quite painful. Wow. Master Shadow teach you how to whine, too? No. And rude. <laughs> it's good to see you, Ivor. I... Yes. Yes, it's good to see you, too. Though I'm not sure I like this new look of yours. Oh, uh, sorry, Ivor. Just something about your face makes me think punchy thoughts. Don't worry. People tell me the same thing. I, uh... I see. 
But seriously, what are you doing down here? Uh, right! Let me explain! You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return. Having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. Wow, I gotta admit, the Admin cooked up a pretty smart plan. That's good. Are you kidding me? Jesse's right. Now the admin gets to be Jesse and have admin powers. Pretty good deal. Jesse, aka the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, aka you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic. But you'd be surprised. Hmm, yeah. Please, as if you could have actually killed me. I'm a ninja now, Jesse. You'd be surprised just how deadly I can be. Anyone else get chills? I got chills from that one. Wait, but what am I doing wasting time talking? If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie, and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. Which will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon! Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Within the realm of possibility, but against all odds. Tell him I died trying to flee the Sunshine Institute. Fluff up his ego. Let him think that he built an inescapable prison. Ah, oh, yes. A fed ego is a happy ego after all. I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? <laughs> Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <coughs> ah! You saw nothing. We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't like hallucinate Ninja Ivor. Nah. -uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. <sighs> Looks like the compass is pointing right to that building. Oh, good. It only sounds like there are a few thousand big, scary people between us and there. Halt! You there! What business have you? I, uh, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay! Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along and don't go anywhere near the building or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you! We don't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty army. Mightiest army I know. I fought creepers, zombies, a giant computer, a wither storm. Bring out your army. We can take it. You are not leaving. Oh, you will regret 
not leaving after you've tasted the wrath of our mighty army. Uh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not gonna ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. We're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Nothing is scarier about an army than its sound. Yeah. Uh, is that an audio disc? You're an audio disc. Yeah, what kind of morons would have a jukebox sitting just out of you behind the city's parapets? <laughs> Fine. You have outfoiled us. We don't have an army. Mm, yeah, I know, but uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. Yeah, duh. I escaped Romeo's highest security prison, the Sunshine Institute. I think I can handle some little challenge. Whoa, that's hardcore. Whoa, yeah. Anyone who escaped that place? Mad props. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup, the... The gate, yet yeah, the, the real gate. Right! On it! Whoa, weird llama. What are they doing? Negotiating terms. Uh huh. <laughs> <gasps> oh, you've got a pet llama too. Oh, she's not my pet. I'm just looking after her for someone as a favor. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Luna. I'm just not feeling a pet owner vibe here. Maybe we can still be friends? This place is a wasteland. Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <laughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room. Especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman. Or a huge flower. Just <sighs> make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time.
Oh, wow. That will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. Nothing organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering? Treasure sniffing llama, eh? Cause it's the seventh. What do you want? Everybody's got off days, you know? See what you found, Luna. Ooh, that's a beaut! Solid sniffing. How come you didn't sniff that out? armor fit for a challenge room. It's so shiny, you can see yourself defeating the challenge room. Souls. Good thinking, Luna. We'll be back for you soon. I hope. waterfalls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends, Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? Designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most thrilling, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? <laughs> Idea, but they don't look friendly. Great. Another golem. This time made of magma. Ooh! Wow! What a showdown, folks! We're having the time of our lives, aren't we? Waterfall! Jesse, water turns lava into cobblestone. Congratulations, challengers! Stage 
one of six hundred <laughs> complete. Uh, what? Stage two. And begin. There's no way we're making it to stage six hundred. Three levers got us into this, so. So maybe those three levers will stop it. Come on, Radar. Let's bust that machine. Hot! That is extremely hot! We're making it to stage 600. Three levers got us into this, so... So maybe those three levers will stop it. Come on, Radar. Let's bust that machine. Radar, you have to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it! Now, prepare yourselves for... Stay. 
nearby? <laughs> this guy has a twisted way of playing with his friends. Maybe we can bring this one down with water, too. Radar and I will be the face. I'm oh, fine! I broke my pickaxe anyway, so I guess it's time for another idea. We have gunpowder! TNT! Just gotta get some sand and we're set. Right. Good thinking, Radar. Radar, get ready. Fire incoming! Quickly! Thank you. 
you ugly stack of dumb rocks! Come on! Come on, I'm right here! Gunpowder placed like an X. Sand on all four sides. Come on, crap, crap, crap! Over here, magma face! How's that TNT looking? We can't do this forever. Almost done over there! Uh, how about now? Oh man, Jesse! <laughs> Any time now! even keep asking. Take a look around. How's it looking? Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe ish. Just get that weapon and get out of here. It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Till someone, you, broke it. Uh huh. Remember I used to read all the time? Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. <gasps> Petra? What's wrong? Uh, n nothing. It just reminds me of... Uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens... Rabbits that can't find carrots. Just ugh, gets me every time. I get it. Puppies always make me cry, too. 
Their cute little faces. Their little wagging tails. Their stupid, I mean, uh, paws. <sighs> it's not the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one just leaving. I kind of thought you liked it that way. You've always had this I don't need anybody thing going on. I know. I just thought I could convince myself, I guess. Axel and Olivia are barely around. We already lost Jack. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. That doesn't make it hurt any less, though. People change, Petra. They grow apart sometimes. That's not a bad thing. It's easy for you to say. I'm the one who always ends up alone. I, I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Something's not right here. The beds don't go with the banners? What about this? It's a weapon, right? It's just a wooden sword. It's like the first thing you learned to build. Hardly an all-powerful super weapon. Let's keep looking. Something that belonged to Fred. Zara, Fred, and Romeo. These must be their banners. Block. What's it looking at? The beds? would be here, where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says, hashtag potato451. Potato? That's the weapon? What are, wh what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable, and not a very good one. I, ugh, I hate potatoes. That's what it is? That's so dumb. Right? <sighs> I 
Hashtag potato451. Take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I feel kind of bad for them, too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but... Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together. More than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or, or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. You are nothing like the admin. Don't compare yourself to him. Even he didn't start out that way. It just got bad. I don't want to cross that line, too. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. Adventuring is what I'm good at. It's where I belong. Not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to... lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I... More than anyone else, you've been there. I'll be right there with you, Petra. If you think your place is out there, then so is mine. <laughs> Thank you. I always knew you were a big ol' softy. <laughs> Never be able to prove it. We'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. She did it! This is it, then! It's time to call the others. We're getting out of here. What do you think you're doing? The portal is hidden for a reason. To keep things away. There are people in Fred's keep who are coming with us. Great. That won't be a burden. Sounding pretty adminish there, Zara. The weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things. Make everything messy. Inefficient. It takes a village, Zara. You knew that once. Right. And then I learned that lesson. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep. I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Hmm. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. 
He needs to be stopped, once and for all. He deserves it. Worse, for this and everything else.